What's up, guys? How you doing today? You rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. Today, I'm going to talk about the seafood processing industry, and we're going to do a walk and talk because I got to go take care of some business. So I figure, while I take care of my business, I can walk and talk with you about the seafood processing industry. And today, I want to get straight to the point. I want to tell you about, in my opinion, the three best seafood processing companies to go for. Also, I'm going to give you a bonus company that you should apply for. So um let's begin. Let me um I'm leaving my apartment right now. Hold on, let me get out of here first and then we'll go right into it. Um had the key in there already. Oh man, keep it in there. Walking down the steps in my apartment. Let's get outside. I'll keep talking with you when I get outside. Okay, we outside. Where I'm staying at. I'm gonna start some eagle. Okay, guys. The three best companies. In my opinion. Remember, I'm no expert in this. I did a, I just did a couple seasons up there in Alaska. And I met a lot of cool people up there that I work with. So in my opinion, in my opinion, let me get where the sun is at. In my opinion, the best three companies are um, the number one company, without a doubt, American Seafoods. Everybody that talks about American Seafoods, everybody that works at American Seafoods, always has nothing but positive things to say about that company. And they pay very well. And the reason why that's a good company, because that's the, uh, I know they have ships. I mean, vessels, 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 my fault, vessels. And, um, hope you guys can see me. They have vessels. They have vessels, and you make um, really good money on the vessels, and they have good benefits. They have the whole the whole package. That, without a doubt, from what I understand, like I said, I'm not a professional on, on this. All. I don't know everything about every company, but I know among my time working in Alaska in the seafood industry, a lot of people talk about good things about that company, American Seafood. So if you was gonna try to get into the seafood industry, I would recommend you I would recommend you to put an application in with American Seafoods. And another another thing I like to tell you guys real quick, the vessels. The vessels are the best jobs. If you're looking strictly to make money, if you're strictly if you're looking strictly to make money in Alaska, you want to work on a vessel, a ship, a boat. That's where the money's at. That's where you will make the most money. And you will save the most money because you're on a boat and you can't get around like that. Usually when you're on a uh, land plant, you have more distractions. You can go to the restaurants. You can go to the bars on your downtime. You, you can um, go to Western Union Money Home. And I don't know. It's just more distractions on a land plant. Now, I, I know in recent, I know this past year, I heard it was pretty tight because of COVID, so nobody on the land plant, a lot of the land plants, you really couldn't move around. You had to just stay on your facility. So remember that, American Seafoods. American Seafoods, remember that. I'm gonna say it one more time. American Seafoods, and you wanna get on a vessel with American Seafoods. If you can get with that company, that is the number one company in the seafood process industry from what I was what from what I have been told. So this is like a disclaimer. I'm not a hundred percent but what I've been told, you know what I mean? I have enough information and knowledge to understand what's going on, but out of all the seafood companies, they speak the most highly of um 
American Seafoods. And the company is based out of, obviously the headquarters is based out of Seattle, Washington. Like I told you guys in many of the other videos, most of the companies are based out of Seattle, Washington. The headquarters, the corporate office. And also when I first started working in the seafood industry, just because people talk so highly of it, I put an application in and guess what? Your boy Philly Don had got an interview with them. I actually got an interview with them. And when I went to interview, you know, I did what I had to do in the interview. It went, it went well. The only thing they told me in the interview was that I didn't have five years of experience. They thought I had more years of experience because I told them, you know, I worked at Walgreens and I gave my manager, management experience, but I didn't have enough experience in the seafood industry. And that was like five, five years ago, like five, five, six years ago, five years ago. But they did give me an interview at their uh, corporate office in Seattle, Washington. So that's another good thing, but that they are the best. Without a doubt, that is the best company. From what I've been told, and this has been from, uh, from numerous and numerous sources. The next company, the next company I wanna to talk to you guys about is Trident Seafoods. Trident Seafoods is like the McDonald's. Trident Seafoods is like the McDonald's of seafood processing jobs. The reason why they're like the McDonald's of seafood, they're everywhere in Alaska. They're everywhere. They have land plants, they have vessels, they have everything. They have everything. They have everything. So you have a lot of opportunity with them. So if you want to get on a land plant or a vessel, you have the opportunity with them because they cover everything, which a lot of other seafood companies cover everything as well, but they cover everything. And also guys, I will put all this information in the description. So you don't have to, if you can't remember it, what I'm saying, I will put all these the companies that I name, I'm only gonna name four companies, maybe five. I said I was gonna give you one extra bonus. Let me give you two extra bonus, what the heck? And um, I'll put everything in the description. But try, try it in seafoods. They cover everything. They cover vessels and they cover land plants. I know some friends that worked on a vessel made great, great, great money with them. Great money with them. Excellent money with them that worked on their seafood vessels, their processing vessels. So that's another company you wanna go with. You wanna go with uh, Trident Seafoods. They are the biggest. American Seafoods, in my opinion, is the best seafood processing company. And Trident Seafoods, in my opinion, from what I've been told from a whole lot of different sources and some research, is the biggest seafood processing company in Alaska, Trident. So if you put an application with them, you got a lot of opportunity, but if you do put an application in with them, you want to get a job on a vessel. You want to let them know, I want to work on a vessel with Trident Seafoods. And the third company, the third company that you want to get a job with, because people keep asking me and calling me up every day, was good companies to work for. The third company that I'm gonna give you is uh, Silver Bay Seafoods. Silver Bay Seafoods. It's a good company. I hear a lot of people say a lot of good things about Silver Bay. I'm not sure if they have vessels, but I do know they have a land plants and they're definitely a good company. They definitely a good company to work for. A lot of people work for them. A lot of different people work for them and they have a good time. They make a lot of money and they always speak highly of it. And they they play um, a good price. I mean, they pay, good, they pay a good salary. They pay a good salary. Um, they pay, their hourly, their hourly is uh, much more than other um, seafood processing companies. Cause when you work in a land plant, it's more than likely you're gonna work on an hourly rate and their hourly is very high for uh, 
the hourly is, is very high compared to the other um, other seafood land plants. So, and I heard nothing but good stuff about them and people say nothing but good stuff about them. They always talk highly and positive. I scratch my nose. Highly and positive about, they speak high and positive about um, Silver Bay Seafoods. I can tell you a quick story with them. Um, I had got an interview with them, they hired me for this season coming up, so I was gonna try to work them and another company, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. My bread and butter company up there that I work for in, uh, in Alaska. And um, you know, due to this uh, this pandemic and while I'm wearing a face mask, I didn't get the opportunity to go up to Alaska this year. But they did hire me, so Silver Bay Seafoods did hire me. And I'm telling you, if you have an opportunity to work with them, Take full advantage of it. Take full advantage of it. And now, but they're, they, they, like I said before, let me just repeat myself so you guys can understand clearly what I'm saying. They don't have, um, far as I know, I'm not 100% with this, but far as I know, they don't have land plants. Far as, not, not land plants, I mean vessels. Far as I know. So my might have to do some research and educate me, but I'm pretty pretty sharp on my, what I know about these different places and these different plants. But far as I know, they don't have, um, as far as I know, unless something miraculously changed, they don't have land plants. I mean, not land plants, stop saying that Philly Dom. Not land plants, but I mean vessels. As far as I know, vessels, guys. Vessels, vessels, vessels. They don't have vessels, but if you was looking for a good land plant to work at and make a, a nice chunk of money, definitely go with them. And let me give you the bonus ones. Shout out to Ocean Beauty Seafood. That's the company I've been working for the most, that I work for the most when I've been going to Alaska. Ocean Beauty Seafoods. As far as I know, and I know the company pretty well, they don't have vessels, but they have land plants. And I worked in Kodiak, Alaska for them, and I worked in Cordova, Alaska for them, and I made a ton of money. So if that's the company you wanna go with, Philly Dom is the uh, connect, the inside man for Ocean Beauty Seafoods. Uh, I can get you in there pretty fast, or I can at least get you in contact with my contacts with inside of Ocean Beauty Seafoods. And you know, right now we walk in, I'm in um, the DR. I've been here for a while between DR and Haiti for the last, almost a year now so that's where I'm doing this video from and um another another company that you want to go with is what is it uh the O'Hara Corporation the O'Hara Corporation I had got an interview with them and um basically I would have been working for them if I didn't work for Ocean Beauty because they actually hired me for their boats, but I was in need of working. I was in need of work and uh, Ocean Beauty had hired me quicker. They hired me a lot quicker. It was like a week before. So I was just trying to get to Alaska to work. This was my second, second contract up there because I was all happy and everything because of the first contract I made so much money working for another company up there and I made so much money. So I was just really trying to get a quick contract, another contract quick. And it was between O'Hara Corporation and I would have been on a vessel. If I knew what I knew then, I would have took the, I would have just waited that week in Seattle and then went with O'Hara and got on a vessel. But they actually, they actually hired me. They actually hired me, there was a dog right there. They actually hired me, but I had to wait like a week, a week and a half, two weeks. I think it was like a week, week and a half. And the other company already had got my flight to Alaska, Ocean Beauty. So I went with them. And in the end, it was a good choice that I made with Ocean Beauty. They show a lot of love to me. They give me a lot of hours. I have a premium position there with them. I work machine operator. I worked on the docks with them. Oh man, I had a good, a good time there. Even when I was leaving, they wanted me to stay longer, but I picked the leave because I had to go visit my son. But uh, they gave me like unlimited hours and it's a good company. So definitely check out Ocean Beauty Seafoods. And then 
O'Hara Corporation. It's another company. <coughs> Hold on one second. Another company. Another good company, like I said before, was um, O'Hara Corporation. And that's a vessels. You want to go with vessels. People ask me, how can I make the most money in seafood processing? You want to go on a ship, a vessel. It looks like a Navy ship. You want to go on one of them, a Navy ship or boat or carrier, whatever you want to call it, but a vessel, like they call it, vessel. You want to go on one of the vessels, you will make a lot of money on the vessel. Trust me when I tell you this, you will make a ton of money on the vessel. And a lot of the vessels, the vessel jobs, you get crew share. So some, some of the... Uh, some or most of the vessels, you don't get paid hourly, you get paid crew share. So crew share, you get a catch. You get a percentage of the catch. There's a lot of money to be made. There's a lot of money to be made on the vessel. So if anybody trying to do this for real, if Philly Dom can give you any advice, take a vessel job. So let me go through it again one more time so you understand. The first company, that I told you was American Seafood. If you can get with American Seafood, you hit the lottery for seafood processing. They make the most, and I hear nothing but good things about them, and they're a vessel job, so you're gonna make a ton of money. The second company is Trident Seafood. Trident Seafood. Trident Seafoods have, uh, what I'm gonna do, I guess I'm gonna go down this way. Trident Seafood, you pass me. Trident Seafood, whoa, 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 whoa. Trident Seafoods have vessels and land plants. But I would recommend you, if you got a job with Trident Seafoods, to work on a land plant. Not a land plant, I, I apologize, not a land plant. You wanna work on a vessel. Vessels are where more, where the most money is at in seafood processing. Vessels are where the most money are at, the most money is at in seafood processing. So you wanna work on a vessel. So if you can get with Trident, if you can get with um, American Seafoods, that would be a great opportunity for you. And the third company would be Silver Bay Seafoods, and they have land plants, and you can make a, a nice chunk of money because they pay you, the hourly rate they pay you is a lot higher than other seafood processing companies. And also, Ocean Beauty Seafoods, if you want to get with them, talk to me. They have a lot of land plants. I worked with them for years, a couple years now. If you want to get with Ocean Beauty Seafoods, I have an inside connect. I can get you in there with Ocean, Ocean Beauty Seafoods, or I can at least get you an interview. I know people in the, within the company that I communicate with all the time. Even now that I'm down in the DR right now, I still talk with them. And also another company that I got an interview with, that hired me, but I, I I made a mistake and I should have waited that week. Like I said before, no disrespect to Ocean Beauty, because Ocean Beauty, I love that I'm there. But was O'Hara, they hired me, but I had to wait a week or two. And um, their uh, vessel, and if you can get with O'Hara Corporation, I'll put all this in the description. I'll put everything I said, all these companies in the description. That's another good company and you will make some tons of money with them as well. O'Hara. O'Hara Corporation. And that's just my opinion. It's probably some companies that I'm, uh, probably, but I know it's some companies that I miss out with that are probably as good or better than most of the companies except for American Seafoods. That everybody said that's the cream of the cream, the cream of the crop. So I hope that this information was helpful for somebody out there. But straight to the point, because I had a couple people call me yesterday and they need, they wanted some information about seafood processing jobs. And um, I wanted to be honest and transparent as possible. So I did this video. Shout out to my boy Ace up in Central uh, California. He's the one that inspired me, he inspired me to do this video. So shout out to you Ace in Central California. Appreciate you, my brother. So hopefully this information will be helpful to anybody that's trying to get a job. 
in the seafood processing industry. Let me let you see where I'm at. I'm out here in the DR. On my way to the mall, but this is the DR. So you can see what's going on. I'm, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing my ugly face, but um, if you need any other information, all my information is there. My email is there. My Instagram is there. My Facebook is there. Instagram is the fastest way to reach me. So you can probably reach me on Instagram. And leave me a message via DM. And we uh, will talk. And I help you guys through the process. But I know everybody needs a job right now due to this, uh, due to this um, pandemic. So this is definitely a great opportunity for you guys. So I will keep putting these videos out. Um, take care. God bless. Also, thank you guys for supporting my channel. We have over 21K plus subscribers now. And I will keep bringing out these travel videos, which I'm doing right now. That's why I'm in the Dominican Republic and I was in Haiti doing travel videos. And also, I will keep putting out these videos about Alaska because I know everybody needs jobs. And I try to help you guys the best way I can because like I said, uh, back in the day I had a situation and I didn't know when my next job was coming and I ended up getting a job in Alaska and I ain't never looked back. And now I try to push that try to promote Alaska and let people know about that. If they're looking for a job, they have an opportunity. And also, let me not forget, if you're from another country, check and see if your country is able to get the H2V visa to work in the United States. And you can work with that in Alaska because yes, they do have a lot of people that work in the seafood process industry, in the seafood process industry from, um, other parts of the world. I work people with people from Poland. I work with people from Serbia. Shout out to Serbia. I work with people from Ukraine. I work with people from Mexico, uh, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, from all over. So just check and see if your country allows you to get that H2B visa. I know they don't offer that visa for my Haitian people. But it's called the H2B visa. I'll put that in the description as well. H2B visa. That's what you need if you're from another country to work in Alaska. Because I guess not enough people from the States know about the job or interested in the job. So they hire outside of the country. And I know a big company, I could tell you two companies I know for sure that hire people with the H2B visas that I know for sure. It's Trident Seafoods and the company I work for, Ocean Beauty Seafoods. Them two companies for sure hire people with the H2V visa. Because I've met people from them different countries working in Alaska on the H2 visa and Ocean Beauty Seafoods and that also as well as Trident Seafoods. So I hope I covered everything. I think I covered everything. But please share my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And please, please, please give this video a like and more travel videos to come. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. And sorry for, for rambling on. But this was a walk and talk video. This was just a walk and talk video. And I just wanted to, um, you know, share my knowledge. On, try to, on, on, on my knowledge, trying to help people uh, get a job. Because I don't want to feed people. I want to take them to the water so they can feed themselves. And this is one way that you can... Um, Take care of yourself. And um, it's seasonal work. Let me mention that. So you're only going to be working up there for like maybe three months to six months at a time. If not, you can make it full-time work because there's people that go up there that work one contract for three months and then maybe catch another contract for six months or four-month contract. And by then, that's like the whole year. So I think I covered everything. All my, all my notes. What's in my head? Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Gonna make my way to this mall. Peace out. From the mighty, 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 mighty DR. And I'll let you see the scenery one more time. 
And that's the end of the video. Look at this apartment right here. That looks nice.